Hey good fellas, in this video we're going to compare head to head two of the most iconic pieces of this industry. I'm talking about the Sailor King of Pen and the Namiki number 20, also called Yukari Royale when it has Maki A on it. We're talking about two pretty similar pieces. Why? Because they're both in black Urushi, they both come from Japan, and you know, this design language, the spirit of the pen are pretty similar. In this video, we will see that these two pieces have quite some differences and that both brings his own features on the table. Up to you then in the comments to let me know which one is your favorite and which one you would go for or some of you already have experiences with these pieces so please let me know down in the comments I can't wait to read from you and answer all your comments just before starting let me tell you what we're gonna analyze in this video so we're going to check the design and I'm going to comment a bit the design what I see what I think what I feel we're going to see the nibs compared one, one next to each other we're going to check the weight the length of the pens and then we're even going to check the writing performance and see how each one feels when writing with it if you have a doubt which one choosing after this video I'm pretty sure you will know exactly which one to go for or maybe you will decide to go for both of them anyway let me start good fellas let me start by checking out a bit the design so we have here the number 20 we have the Sailor King of Pen first thing that we can see design wise is the fact that the Yukari Royale is slightly more rounded while the while the Sailor King of Pen is a bit more sharper in terms of shape now what's a good thing about the Sailor King of Pen is the fact that it comes with rhodium plated metal trims and also with gold metal trims so up to you to decide which one you prefer on the other side with the number 20 of Namiki you only have the option to go for this specific piece that has golden metal trims a little detail that I have to say I like very much on the number 20 is this little golden ring that is on the end of the cap it gives you know that certain kind of premium perceived feeling it adds a little touch on the other end the Sailor King of Pen is really a bit more like the cigar somehow and you know is very clean from the top to the bottom beside the metallic clip it's a very very clean Japanese aesthetic but I mean also the Namiki number 20 has a very clean aesthetic um, the other thing that I have to say when I hold the pens in hand is that what I perceive right away is the fact that the Namiki number 20 is heavier than the king of pen now this is something very personal up to you to decide what do you prefer to have a heavier pen or to have a pen that is less heavy personally I love weight so this one gives me the feeling of having a bit of the kind of weight that I would be looking for but we will be checking the weight and see what the difference is now before we do that let's unscrew the cap and discover the pen and its nib the sailor king of pen comes with an oversized 21 carat gold nib as you can see it's a one tone nib rhodium plated if you go for the sailor king of pen that has golden metal trims you will also obviously have a golden nib while on the namiki number 20 we have also very nice size nib 18 carat gold with this golden plating over it if we put the nibs head to head you can actually see that the number 20 has this beautiful design of the mount fuji on it uh, this is now a broad nib here we have a medium nib while the sailor nib that is a bit wider has this anchor and then the little design this is the new design that is now available since a few months up to you which one you personally prefer they're both very nice and I'm sure they will perform very differently one to each other the sailor king of pen nib is available only in medium and in broad while the Yukari Royale the number 20 is available in fine medium broad and even medium fine nib the number 20 definitely is a bit longer once it's on cap it has a very nice weight it looks like it has brass inside the body this gives it a certain weight while the Sailor King of Pen has this ebonite body without the brass also the number 20 has a has an ebonite body over the brass that then is overlaid with this beautiful black kurushi but it's a bit shorter both feel very good but obviously you know one is longer than the other that's also a matter of what you feel I personally love both feelings both bring its own peculiarities when it comes to longer writing sessions overall very ergonomic both of them great great pieces I would say let's quickly see the length of both pieces when they're closed so funny the Sailor King of Pen is longer when it's capped so it actually arrives at like 
Yeah, pretty much 15.5 centimeters. And the Yukari Royale on the other end is around 15 centimeters. So the Namiki number 20 is 0 0.5 centimeter shorter. But once you uncap it, funny thing is that the barrel the body where you have the grip section and you have the nib is longer on the number 20 and how funny you see again it's two kind of design languages two kind of, of ergonomics shapes that the designers and the brand wanted to bring to the consumer and that's what you know makes it fun to own different kind of writing instruments on the sailor king of pen we are at 13.4 centimeters on the number 20 we are at around 13.5 so it's a slight difference but to be honest it's a difference that can be feel and is definitely perceived there's one more important thing that we have to discover and it is the weights so and we're gonna start with the sailor king of pen because i think that this one is a bit less heavy we are at 33.92 grams not bad time to discover the yukari royale the number 20 44.70 so that's you know a nice 11 grams difference and the weight difference definitely can be felt another important thing that we have to do now is to see how they write let's do that right away we're going to start this writing test comparison with the sailor king of pen let's see how this film i'm writing So now this is a medium nib and it has this scratch, it has this feedback and it's almost like writing with a pencil, which is something that I personally really, really love. It also has a certain flexibility, look at it. You can see it on the nib. It always comes back. It's not meant to be used as a, as a flex nib, so don't over flex it, but Beautiful feedback, beautiful writing experience. The flow is absolutely amazing. Again, this feedback is really what you're looking for for this with this Sailor King of Pen. Indeed, it is its its main peculiarity, the bounce that you have with the nib, um, the beautiful flow. It has a very nice design and it really makes it a very comfortable writing experience. But let's see now how this broad nib of the number 20 compares. The peculiarities of a nib are always similar. Obviously you have fine, medium broads, but you know, if a nib is meant to be bouncy, to be a bit, to have a certain flexibility, then you will feel it whether it's a fine, medium or broad. So let's see this broad of Namiki. So right away, one word, I can already feel that it's a very precise nib doesn't scratch, doesn't give the same feedback of the sailor. It's very smooth, super smooth. One of the smoothest experiences you can probably have. Super smooth, guys. And I can guarantee, because I've tested already, the medium nib is also as smooth, but just thinner. You hear feedback now here? Very good flow. Completely another kind of writing experience, quite bright, wide when, when writing, but again, much smoother than the Sailor King of Pen. The smoother, not, not necessarily better, but just different. With the Sailor King of Pen, you have this more uh, kind of pencil-like feedback when writing with it. When you're writing with Dynamiki, you have a bit more of a smoother experience. Uh, you almost don't feel the nib gliding on paper. I prefer a bit having the feedback, the noise to, to understand that I'm writing what I'm writing. But listen, what can I say? This writing experience here is exceptional too. They're just different. And that's, I think, a very good thing. 
Both of these pieces don't feature a piston filling mechanism, but you can fill this up but you can fill this up using the converter or the cartridges. So you see here, you have the typical CON20 uh, converter that is usually available on Namiki and uh, often also on Pilots. While on the Sailor, we also have a converter, which doesn't hold much ink. That's a bit of downside to this specific piece. But listen, I have one and still, it's super enjoyable. You'll have to fill it up a bit more than usual, but listen, there's worse than that in life. Obviously, as I already mentioned, both pieces are produced completely by hand in Japan. Sailor are produced in their new factory in Hiroshima, while the number 20 is produced in Tokyo. They both use several layers of lacquer that, you know, have to be done extremely precise, and then they have to dry and then put another layer until they reach certain amount of layers, and it gives this beautiful lacquering depth that makes this more than simply a black pen. Well, good fellas, now we really have compared everything we could compare about these two iconic pieces. It's up to you to let me know down in the comments now which one you prefer or which one you prefer to use if, if you already have one of this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this content and to subscribe to the channel. And also don't forget that together we are changing the game.